hopefully she sees that comment. Okay, so. As soon as I hit the language, I also am gonna hit start on the timer and we are gonna get going. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay. Gotta match that A and B to get through the, the uh, thing. There's a part at the end of level one that I keep missing on my first try, which is really annoying. Um, but we will see. Okay, level one, one. Um, Doing okay here, that's fine. I should get, gotta eat that lemon. Gotta get that speed boost. Okay, is it one th one of these is the room that I always run into and die and lose a few seconds on. I think it's actually one four that I always die on. All right. Yep, this is it. There's actually a faster path on that one, but I didn't die on my first try, so consider it a win. No complaints here. I did fall down that hole for a second, which is kind of annoying, but... All right, running up this pole. Ah, definitely. This is not going to be the most optimized version of this run. <laughs> that is for sure. Oh, really messed that one. Thank you. Okay, but I got that double bump. Still have no... Ah. I still have no real strategy on this level. There it is. Um, what is one nine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, love to see it. Take that. Hmm. Oh, this is annoying. This one's. So, giving it like a tiny bit of thought, what I realized is that. I should take a speed boost oh, as soon as I get it because I'll, no matter when I take the speed boost, it's always going to give me that little pause. Oh. It's always going to pause me for that second. Jeez, I'm doing garbage on that. But, um, so if I want to get the most of the speed boost and I want to start being able to use it as soon as possible. Got 
I hate this room. I think I can keep this run fairly short. Definitely sh much shorter than the seven hour one for, um, I'm not totally sure how to pronounce their username. I think it's like Elju, Elgu or something. I need, I have to double check that. The person who is the, okay, this part is annoying to me. I keep, I keep messing it up and not winning on the first run because like, I'm not sure. I don't want to like get it to where, okay, wait, I have to be doing it evenly. Oh man, see I keep messing that up. I'm not, I tried to get the exact, like what would be the best possible speed on it. One, two, 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 one, two. There it is. Because it's not just about doing it fast enough, it's about doing it in a way that the... Okay. It's about doing it in a way that the, uh, what's it called? Um, ah. I gotta hit the button there. Okay. Um, it's about doing it, like, fast, but in a way that a Game Boy Color would recognize. <laughs> Even if it is an emulator, you know? So I'm trying to figure out, I was trying to practice it with, like, I had a metronome. And I was like, okay, how many BPM do I need to do? One of the big things is I, it definitely responds to evenness. Like, you don't want to press the button too fast and not, like, hardly touch it, that is. All right, let's see. What can I do here? Got my map open on my screen. I need that speed up. That'd be really nice right now. In my movement speed run? Oh, I just got what you were saying. Am I... Oh, I'm worried I'm going the wrong... No, yeah, this is right. I practiced it a bunch, but it's been like a couple days now because like with traveling and everything, it just didn't happen, but I still got it. The dragon boss at the end of five is a lot easier now, but the eagle boss is still kind of a shot in the dark for me every time. So Oh, come on. I need to get better at like not getting hit by stuff. <laughs> Cause um if I could hold on to those lemons much better than like that would be Lovely. Oh, shoot, I just went the wrong way. I did figure out that you can oh, you can turn in midair, which I think does give you like half a second, but I, I, I'm not honestly not totally sure. I still want to make a map for this area so I can get better at these, uh, those. Oh, I'm garbage at these. always get hit by some of them which is like I just need to do better no nope. but you know one of these days I will practice that route and I will uh, get it down but for the time being I can beat it my current goal is simple oh this one always hits me like twice wait nope never mind Maybe it's another one that hits me twice every time. Gosh. You'd think I'd be better at this. Um, okay. The big old rock. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. 
Yeah, no, I know what to do. Alrighty. Sometimes it does kind of this like weird screen shake uh, lag that I don't fully understand if I like run into the edge and I can't tell if that's good or bad for, the, for my time, but alrighty. That's the end of level two. I, you know, it's not perfect, but I do it in one shot, you know, and that's okay. So I see the password, but I'm not going to hit next until it shows me the title screen of the next level is how I've been doing it. Alrighty. All right, here we go. Okay. All right. While that was while that was loading, I just switched over to my map for the boss at the end of this level. Not the one that I used to have trouble with, but now is pretty easy. But the one where you have to collect all the um, musical notes. I've gotten pretty good at it. Oh, I need to get a lemon. This is my, this is my, um, right, this is the one that I got a, uh, what's it called on? I got my, this is the one that I have the record on. <sighs> All right. Oh, man. You hate to see it. Oh, jeez. Not my best. I take that so I don't have to. Oh, man. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be better than seven hours and, uh... So far, I am feeling pretty solid about being better than seven hours. <laughs> oh, this dang room is going to be the death of me, though. All right. Oof, almost messed that up. Thank you. That's, this is a room I'm curious on. Like, I need to do some timing to find out if it's faster to jump there and grab onto the tree or if it's better just to run past it. I am unfortunately not great at this room, <laughs> but the good news is I have a lot of a lot of the speed up fruits. No, bad news is that still I'm pretty garbage at this room. There we go. There's one. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Okay, I'm almost to the mid-boss. This game is such... There's so much weirdness to this game. And one of the weirdnesses... Is... Oh. This is that room where there are rocks everywhere.
Just nothing there? Okay. Normally it shows one every time. There we go. Try to get I try to get the rocks off screen fast because I think it speeds up. Because I think once the rock is off screen, it is no longer like loaded, I guess. And that's when it might start to spawn more of whatever. I'm I'm not I don't have any surefire proof on this, just like guessing on instinct, but like it feels like it would matter. Because I know that as soon as a lot of a lot of stuff as soon as it goes on sc off screen, especially like the rocks and whatnot, that's when it like despawns. And so trying to get it to despawn, I don't know if that actually ends up making it faster or anything, but you know it might. And that's enough at this point. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yep, okay. Oof. Not my best friend of that room, but I will take it. Oh, all right, all right, kill me. Let's just do it. Yeah, 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 I get it. Moomin's adventure was unsuccessful. And I'm an idiot because I was like, I have time to take a drink. Honestly, this room is kind of easier when you don't have the speed up. That's the thing, is like some of them, most of the time you do want the speed up, like, because it's a speed up, but like. No! Also, hello, Gabby! Oh my gosh, this stupid boss is gonna get my ass again. Ah! I don't know why it keeps, like, I don't know how to manipulate the fact that it keeps running towards me, you know, right away, because when it does that, it, sometimes it catches me off guard, but if it, as long as it flies up first, oh, yeah, this is the part that screwed up my run last time, but I'm very, ah, uh, I'm going to do a murder is what I'm going to have to do. Um, like, I'm much more capable of it. Like, I've practiced it a lot. I know the strat. I've got it down. Okay. All right, here we go. Just got to get it to come towards me. Like, I've literally ran this game through so many times over the past two weeks. Like, I wasn't as stringent with myself as, like, an actual speedrun, so, like, I would get up and take pauses, but, like, I played through the whole game in one day, and that seemed like a... Oh! I sound like a horse girl. That's that's fine, I suppose. I would I would not necessarily agree but like you know there are worse things to be all right no that's okay you don't have to fight her this time dun 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 oh i don't have the speed up i'm an idiot Just kill me, Mantis. God, I'm really screwed. This is... Gabby, you really came in to see me at my not great. So I've been practicing to speedrun this for like a month because originally when I picked it, there were no speedruns for it. And now 
And then like two days later, someone submitted a seven hour speed run. And I'm extremely confident I can beat that. Um, Cause especially with the practice I've been doing, but um, overall just seven hours is not uh, the biggest deal. Okay. Um, and so the decision is, yeah, trying to get through it as fast as you can basically. It's an old, this is a really old Game Boy Color game. Um, okay, run at me, my dude. That's it. I found some other games that I want to learn how to speed run. I figured out that the thing I need for a speed run to seem uh, like something I want to do is that the game has to seem charming, which I know is like kind of like vague. Okay, okay, that's like two more hits. I can do that without the speed bump. That's fine. Oh, if I don't do garbage. Come on, okay. Nope. Nope. This is, Mantis is going to be the death of me. I'm going to die. I'll never have accomplished anything in my life, especially not this speed run. <laughs> God. Um, so I've been practicing it. This is the third level. There's only six levels in this little Game Boy game. Um, and sometimes it's extremely easy, and sometimes it is harder than it should be. There are some parts where, like, like they did not do... Oh, my God. I'm going to murder. They did not do the... Uh, they did not balance it very well. Like, this thing has... Uh, what's it called? 21 hit points. And I have, like, three. Yeah, just do it. Yeah, man, that first hit. This, I actually... So earlier in the month, um, Josie was there for it for sure. Eric might have been. I ran, I did a run of the, uh, oh. I did a run of just this level and I, and I got a better time than I'm doing right now. I'm really gonna, mm. like this is, this isn't even the part that I thought. Welcome, welcome. I'm, I'm um, doing pretty solid. I'm doing really bad at this uh, one level, um, even though I practiced it. So I'm kind of annoyed at myself, but otherwise pretty good. Um, I just doing good. She was mad that Emma and I were not at home for a short period of time, but um, she is now very happy that we are home. Okay, I'm going to kill this freaking praying mantis. No! Oh my gosh. The other annoying thing, like this game is seriously super unbalanced because... A lot of these bosses are basically impossible if you don't have a speed boost, but you only get the speed boost if you have the right fruit, and then you lose it if you get hit once. So, <laughs> and during boss battles, you can't eat more fruit. This is a god. Um, but, yeah. I don't think she did. I don't really didn't like us being gone. She, we, we had someone watching her, but, and they, they did fine, but they weren't necessarily that good at the... Like, they did all the stuff that they 
needed to do of like feeding her and stuff but they weren't very good at the whole um i don't know uh what the word is um just like cat like energy you know they weren't really they didn't really get ida to be comfortable which is a shame One, two, one, two, one. No, 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 no. Well, she was just so afraid of them. And, uh, so I said, don't bother, like, don't worry too much about playing with her until she can get a little to know, like, to get to know you a little better and, like, feel less scared around you. But, like, they just aren't very good at, like, like, I'm not trying, I don't want to be judgmental, but they weren't, they just weren't very good at, like, being, trying to be really, like, conscious of, like, how they were making her feel at any given moment. They were very, like, I don't know, very movie, very, like, moving around a lot, very, I don't know, just, no! I'm gonna sue this mantis, because it makes me look dumb. I've definitely been working on this for, like, five minutes now. Uh, and that's not even the eagle. God. Hmm. I mean, this is my first run. Who's the mantis and who's the moomin? That's really the truest question. Are y'all all familiar with moomin at all? Do you know anything about it? What about the moomins? So, the Moomins, do I have, okay, I have the speed up. Okay, wait, let me, let me try this boss, and then I will go into discussing who the Moomins are. They are... Thank you! That is what I was talking about! Ah! Oh, okay. So, um... I'm trying to think offhand what the name of the woman who invented the Moomins was. And I can't think of what it is. Now we're into the R stupid RNG room, so... Uh, I can't think of what her name is offhand. Tove Jonsson, I think, maybe, is it? Um, but, uh... She invented the Moomins in, like, the 60s. Uh, she grew up in Finland... Her first, like, art jobs that, her, her first big art job was that she did, uh, she, during the, uh, during, like, World War II and whatnot, she drew cover art for anti-fascist magazines, um, which is awesome, uh, yeah, and so the Moomins are supposed to be kind of like little trolls or fairies that there's, I guess, some, I guess, Finnish influence, but to some extent, they're basically just her characters. Um, and also, she was gay. Um, she was very, or in her words, she went over to the spooky side, which is the weirdest way I've ever heard anyone describe being gay, but she was in a relationship with a woman for the uh, second half of her whole life. Um, there's a lot of, like, the Moomin is characterized a lot. Um, okay, I'm actually gonna. I, this is kind of out of the way, but um, if I can get these gold berries, they increase. Oh, they increase my maximum hearts. Um, but uh, what's it called? I will. I will re-speed up after I've gone through this stupid room because I always get hurt here as well. Um, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of like sweetness and calmness and like pastoral stuff, but you also get a lot of um, like melancholy. She wrote books about them with like 
they were semi-illustrated. She also wrote comics about them. And then there is a 90s... Um, there's a 90s anime that was pretty popular. And Emma and I started watching that pretty recently. And it's like... It's pretty good. It's kind of silly in the way that 90s anime is. Um, but it's very good. They talk. They, they, do, they do the talkings. Um... And this game is actually, like, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in this game is kind of accurate, but, like, the Grok here, like, this isn't really, this doesn't really make sense with the Grok. Um, yeah, they have the books around at different places. I have one on hold at the library, actually. So with this boss, I have to, if I don't grab the music note, then I lose a point of health, and if I do, then the Grok lose a po loses a point of health. Um, and luckily it goes in a 16 note loop. It does the exact same trajectory for, oh, I always fuck that one up, but that's fine. Thank you. And that's good. Okay. Um, so yeah, she was like pretty cool. Um, the, uh, the Moomin anime made it get really popular in Japan, and there's, like, you know how there's, like, merch of everything for Hello Kitty? There's a lot of different, like, Moomin-style merch. Like, there's just Moomin on everything. All right, on to level four. So that's Snuffkin, Moomin and Snuffkin. There's a lot of, um... Most of the fandom is very into Moomin and Snufkin being in love, and it's adorable. There's a, oh, basically, like, Snufkin comes around um, during the, like, springtime. This level is so weird. I'm about to transform into a fucking uh, little plant bitch. I'm a plant, motherfuckers. Here we go. Um, okay. B is broom. The map, my map for this level is so, like, confusing because it's just, like, going in between the rooms. Okay. And C is up here. Unfortunately, so, like, any key in this works on any of the locked doors, but it keeps... You don't get to uh, get the key for the boss until, like, the last room you go to. Which is, like, pretty good coding for, like, a random GBC game. I guess, I like, I mean, it's not terribly difficult to imagine how they would do it. But, like, still, ugh, this room is always kind of annoyingly... It's simple, and yet, it always takes me a few tries. Alright, more max health. We love to see it. Okay, and now I go down to this room. There are 12 rooms. I don't actually have to go to every room. Um, I just have to go... There's a few that I've X'd out on my map. I'm going to be posting all of my, like, maps and stuff into the, onto the speedrun.com page so that everybody can use them. That other people that want to try to run the game... Oh, yeah, this room's easy. Um... Can I do this? This room is annoyingly tough as the flower. Oh, yep, nope, not gonna happen. So here's what we do to beat it. Instead of being as the flower is, there. there's four forms that it cycles me through. Normal form, plant form, and Lil Moomin, and then a puddle, which you'll see in a minute. Um, there's definitely Lil Moomin! And here's the beauty. Like, they actually... This this level is, like, weirdly intricate because depending on your form, sometimes the rooms react differently. Like here, these guys don't hurt me. They just help me. They try to help me jump up higher. Which is just so sweet and adorable. Uh, this room's pretty easy. Just have to not stand underneath any of these. I should get that speed boost. Okay, so this is gonna... Okay. 
Now I need to turn into a puddle. I know, right? Just a little tiny moomin. One of us. One of us. That's so true. Um, if you get hit, it turns you back into regular moomin, but it saves where you are in the cycle. So if I, since I got hit as a plant, it still knows that the next thing to turn me into is a that. In this one, if I come in and as anything else, my reflection blocks me. Okay, so now I have the, like, it's, it looks like a mirror, but I, it's supposed to be, like, the key, I guess. And unfortunately, I can't keep any of those forms, but I feel like that'd be a cool thing to try to figure out. Okay, this boss isn't terribly difficult, but he can be kind of annoying sometimes. Okay. He's, like, pretty... Alright. Sometimes if he... There we go. Boom. Each full heart on a boss is seven hits, I found out, by counting. The thing is, like, I think I might know more about speedrunning this game than anybody else at this point. Because, like, there's been a few, like, single runs. Someone did a, a tool-assisted run with a robot. But, like, with that one, they literally just, like, played through each level and it, like, only, and then had it save, like, the time when they succeeded at a part, you know, and just do all those in a row, basically. Um, they didn't, like, super optimize it, but I think I might know more about how to speedrun this game than anybody else. Between my maps and my, uh, random bullshit that I know. This is so, which I love, because it's like, who need nobody needs to know this. Ugh. Oh. Thank you. All right. Now I'm going to take a drink out of my soda. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to bring this record so much further down. <laughs> right now we're at 37 minutes. God, yeah, this is this record is going to be oh, in switch sections right at the right time, but it's fine. I don't, there's not even an official thing to mark your sections. I just thought it'd be nice to have that for my own rec reference. Okay, level five is kind of pain in the ass in some ways, but... Um, oh, sorry. I forgot to bring my map up during the loading screen, which was a stupid move on my part. Okay, so there's a part halfway through level 5 that's a pain in the ass. Luckily, I always get a lemon right there. I know that one offhand. Oh, your girl just oofed that real good. No. See, there's parts... Like, sometimes the platforming in this is actually pretty good, but, like, sometimes it's like, okay, this is not, this is nearly unfeasible. Which, I mean, it's just, like, a game made for, you know, whatever the heck. It's, it's just a, uh, ugh. Oh, I can't, I keep having trouble thinking, it's just a licensed port, or not licensed port, but a licensed game. Um, so what can you do? But apparently Sunsoft, the company that made this, made a bunch of Game Boy Color games. Um, Alright. Here we've got a bunch of portals. Boom. This one will take me up. And then run across, run left. This guy shoots... Oh, two in a row! Thank you, God. That guy's annoying as hell. Just jump through there. It's technically slightly faster to jump everywhere, which I keep forgetting. Right? Like it's on it. It's super charming. Like for all of its faults, at least it's really charming. Okay, this is a section with like a stupid weird jump. Also, I'm gonna do something that isn't necessary. And as I get better at this game, hopefully I will no longer need to do it. 
yeah, it is kind of calming. And the music is so good. Um, each fruit is going to be an extra life against the boss that's like a piece of garbage that I just have trouble with. Yeah. Big agrees. So I try to gather like five of them, five of these speed up fruit. Cause also I think if I eat a speed up fruit for my, to get my life, to get another life, it still gives me the speed up. So I get a bunch of these and then that way, um, I'm not like, I'm not, I don't have to do perfect. Um, you can only have actually up to six. Okay. This jump is annoying, but there we go. Sometimes I miss that, and then you have to go all the way around. It's such a pain in the ass. Okay. Okay, let's hope this eagle doesn't take too long. His hitboxes are inconsistent at best. I, like, there's a lot of stuff about this eagle that I just straight up do not understand. A lot of it is just hoping I get lucky and don't accidentally... I think his, like, hitbox fluctuates a lot as he moves. Because if you land just wrong, and it's not... A, it doesn't always look the same to land wrong, but if you land wrong, you'll get hit. You'll get hurt by him while you're landing on him. But if you can get lucky enough, then it's not... He's not too bad. He's just a pain in the ass because of that. Okay, if you stand all the way in the corner, he actually cannot hit you. He also can't hit you on the descent. That is not something I've seen discussed. Okay, he's got about two hits left. He'll probably kill me. But if I get really lucky, a one-try eagle would be so good. See? You see that shit? Oh, you see that shit? That's why this eagle is a pain in the ass. Oh my god. Like... The, uh, what's it called? Oh, shit, I missed. Mm, my dude. Like, if you're just in between the... It's like, oh, if you're just at the wrong spot. Like, I think he has, like, two hitboxes that are, like... Not, I don't I don't even totally understand. I, I have a lot of like little theories and I, I honestly spent some time trying to understand enough about mm, Game Boy Color Code to see if I could like suss out like what exactly is going on with the uh, hitbox. Like and I just haven't been able to figure it out. Like if I could get I almost want to like find somebody who knows how to get into Game Boy Color games and see if they'd be willing to like be commissioned to give me a report on how the freaking uh, hitboxes work in this freaking game. Because it drives me freaking crazy. There we go. And that is the boss. Thank you. I will take a... Was that two tries, I think? Two try eagle is probably the best I've gotten ever, to be completely honest. All right, just got to jump through here because I can't eat my fruit. Okay. Now, something I haven't done yet that I need to do is there's a second half. This second half of level five, I do not have a map for this. Um, boom. We don't got to do that. Boing. Transport to me there. Go to the one on the right. And into that room. And once again, I'm going to go off to the side and grab that um, golden berry thing that increases my max health just for myself. Definitely. Okay, this dragon. Oh, no, this isn't the dragon. This is like the room before the dragon. But there's a dragon coming up. Used to be... Fucking pain in the ass, but then I learned the strat, and it's not too bad, but sometimes I do struggle too much to kill it in the... F 
lives that I have, and then you have to basically run through the whole level again. But even if I have to run through the whole level again, it won't, the eagle will already be dead. So, like, there are worse things. Oh. It's hard to recover. Yeah, no. If I can get lucky, I can get back on there, but it's... Yeah, that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna get quiet for a moment. I'm just gonna focus on this thing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Crushed it. Two try dragon. That's what I'm talking about. That's level five, y'all. Oops. My bad. There's only one more level left, and it's like. Oh, it's a it's a really anticlimactic in a beautiful way. Like it's really good. I it's hard to explain. I I definitely recommend. Uh, I mean I'm like rushing through the text, but if you can follow along with it, I recommend it. Astronomer tells him about stars. It's really like cool. It's really just like it's a very chill content for every level but there's just one level left which means that i'm probably gonna get under an hour maybe the last level can kind of be a pain in the ass for me to be completely honest but uh it's not terrible it's not gonna take that long have you ever seen a real solar eclipse that part's interesting to me because like how often does a game like ask you a question and without even like there's no input it's not like tell me the answer it's just like hey this is me the narrator talking to you um Hmm. I practiced this level quite a bit, so we'll see how this goes. No. Ooh. That was just luck. That's totally fair. You know, Emma and I have been uh, binging Adventure Time. She really wanted to binge it and rewatch the whole thing again. I haven't watched the whole thing before, so it's been an exciting uh, experience because I. I've seen a lot, but I have not seen it all. That's okay, that's okay! And that is the game! I think. Ah! I think that's when the time stops. I hope I was right. Otherwise, it's at the end of that text, but... It can be retimed if it really needs to be. Y'all. That's it. The boom. If I'm not mistaken, that is 48 minutes and 22 seconds. Maybe a few more if I mistimed it, in which case we'll just have to retime. But that apparently does happen, so that's good to know. Um, dang! I did it in less than an hour, too. Well, oh, thank God. I did not want to spend too long on it. But I am honestly kind of surprised with myself. I thought it was going to take at least an hour. Um, yeah, geez. Oh, man. That's really exciting. Oh. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, man.